In Lab 4A, we'll take a look at linear momentum. In Part 1 of Lab 4A, you guys will take a look at the linear momentum equation, shown here up top. In the first part, define each term in the linear momentum equation and explain its importance. In the second part, you'll go through a conceptual problem in which water flows through an elbow. Remember, in this part, to sum up your forces and your change in momentum in one dimension and your forces and change in momentum in the other direction to solve the problem. In part two of the linear momentum lab, we'll use this water jet to observe the phenomenon of linear momentum. This apparatus consists of a spring dampened weighing assembly, a target plate, and a water jet nozzle eight millimeters in diameter. To begin with, make sure that the 180 degree plate, or the flat plate, also called the 90 degree plate, is firmly attached. Now, screw on your top. Take the weighing assembly and make sure that the white line in the middle lines up with the pointer. The pointer cannot point directly at the line as it will stop the weighing assembly from freely moving up and down. Now, turn on the hydraulic bench. Make sure to put it in the bench so no water spills out. Allow the system to reach steady state. The weighing assembly should rise above its equilibrium position. Once you reach steady state, take these weights and load them onto the jet. See how much weight it requires to bring the assembly back to equilibrium and report it. one target plate, unscrew the system, remove it, place the other target plate in place, and repeat the experiment. When you've finished with both, unplug the hose and fill a 1,000 milliliter bucket to determine the flow rate. Use this flow rate in your calculations.